Faith here. Um, I'm going to share with you guys a fun testimony. Um, I actually have some two testimonies. I have a personal one and then I have one that I think you guys would like as well. Um, the personal one, when I was born, I was actually born with a disease called epilepsy and they couldn't find out what was wrong with me. I would be sick all of the time. Um, and then when I was six years old, I had a grand mal seizure, which is like when you like shake violently. And believe it or not, that's when they found out that I actually had epilepsy. And so after testing medication, um, I would be on so much medication. Um, and it was like every day, every night I would have a seizure. Um, and it was to the point that like, even it would affect my learning where I was like, like 10 years old and I would learn how to spell cat one day and then the next day like I literally couldn't spell cat because all of the information would just leave my brain. Um, the seizures were just that severe. But I knew that the Lord would heal me. There was something inside of me that knew that, that Jesus was going to heal me. And so when I was 12 years old, I was at this church service and a missionary came and prayed for me. And in that moment, nothing crazy happened. I just felt the Holy Spirit come over me and I knew I was healed. Um, this part is not my advice, but I went home and I dumped out all of my medication because I just knew that I was healed. Um, and after some testing, I came back and I was, the Lord fully healed me and normalized my brain. And so if you have epilepsy or if you have brain irregulation and you're watching this, I believe that the Lord is going to heal you. Second cool testimony. Um, this one time at our youth conference, actually last year, um, there was this person in the overflow who had a disease called vitiligo. And so it would cause the, the pigment in her skin to discolor. So she had white patches all over her body. In the middle of worship, she literally watched the pigmentations in her skin come back and Jesus would, was healing her. And so she grabbed some students and they all gathered around her and started praying and literally all of the skin started to normalize. She only has like one little small patch left on her elbow that she's like, I can't even tell that it's there. But it's amazing what the Lord is doing in the body of Christ. And I feel like He's also gonna do it in this church as well. I have some advice to give you guys. Um, my advice is to follow the Holy Spirit and trust the Holy Spirit. And if we are full of the Holy Spirit and we yield to the Holy Spirit, then we're not, we don't waver. We don't get caught up in the chaos of our mind. We don't get ca caught up in the chaos of our hearts and we're steadfast and we're true to ourselves and we're true to the Lord. And so be full of the Holy Spirit, be yielded to the Holy Spirit. Um, and then a second word of advice. Let me think if I could think of a funny one. Make sure that you brush your teeth before you pray for anyone. And if you don't brush your teeth, grab some mints. No one likes some stinky breath. That's it. That's my word of advice. Do you want me to give a more serious one? 